Hi there everyone and thanks for joining us today at MRI Ascend. Now for those of you who don't know me already, uh, my name is Sam Cochran. I'm the Strategic Account Executive with a focus on the strata management industry here at MRI Software. Now in this session today, I'll be chatting with Michael Vumbaka, the CEO of CNG Property Group, about the business, uh, their ambitious plans for the future, as well as how they'll be making the most of technology to assist to drive their growth. Now, for those out there unfamiliar with them, CNG Property Group is a family-run corporation with a real focus on the strata management industry, uh, and they're actually an early adopter in Strata Connect, which is MRI's new cloud-based module, uh, soon to sit on top of Strata Master, which will really focus on improving the maintenance, communications, invoicing, and more in strata management. Now, CNG have been using the application uh, as an early adopter well ahead of its uh, formal release in July um, for about a year now, uh, which is all really exciting news but we've got more to come about that later. Now, let me introduce our guest, Michael Vumbaka, the CEO of CNG Property Group. Thank you, Sam. Good to be here. Uh, thank you for joining us, Michael. Um, so look, jumping straight in, I, I read recently that the group has quite an ambitious goal and you see yourself uh, becoming the largest privately owned strata company in mm. Australia by 2025. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, they're ambitious targets, I know, but uh, you know, this industry, I feel like at the moment is just, uh, you know, maturing so quickly and you know with the assistance of technology and you know you just have to look around at the moment and you mm. see cranes all over the place so you know the strata industry in my view is really on the verge of taking off once again uh, you know and fortunately uh, I'm lucky enough to be part of a business that's over 50 years old that has very strong uh, systems and processes and just a wonderful team so you know we feel like we're perfectly poised for mm. you know a rapid acceleration of our journey um, and I and the team are just very excited about that. Yeah fantastic no it's good to hear. So off the back of that tell me a little bit more around uh, CNG Group you know the size of your company uh, your customer base. Mm. So we're predominantly or wholly located in New South Wales um, from top to bottom really. Mm. Uh, we manage in excess of 35,000 lots and that yeah. really ranges from two lots to 800 lots and you've got retirement homes and mixed use facilities and you know duplexes you name it we manage it you know and that's really what I think you have to be able to do now in the strata sector there's just so many types of stratum in mm -hmm. the industry um, you know and we're very proud to manage all of them across uh, the sector yeah excellent well we all know that the strata management industry uh, changes regularly you know there's changes in legislation as well as all of the technological growth we've seen recently mm. in the sector yeah uh, what do you think are the main challenges you feel like the industry faces today well, I mean, there's probably three that come to mind. I mean, people is always a challenge. And, you know, I, I talked about the acceleration of the industry just before, but, you know, you can manage as many buildings as you like. You need to have enough good people to manage those buildings. So, you know, I and my colleagues in the industry are, are constantly on the lookout for, um, you know, great people to come and join the sector. And, you know, I'm really proud of the work the SCA is doing at the moment because I feel like they're starting to drive attention towards the sector. And, yeah, definitely. You know, it's such a big a big part of the the country's economy and uh, you know I hope that there are more people coming and joining the sector in the future so people's obviously one um, you know you've got uh, an array of what's being built these days so complexity wise the sector is just evolving so mm. quickly you've got you know a raft of compliance issues now in the strata sector from fire to defects to cladding to swimming pools you've got lifts and all types of things uh, you know, way back in the 60s when Strata was first becoming a thing, it was a three brick walk up. Mm, of course. You know, so the layering and the complexity of what we do now is just uh, so prominent. So we need to be ready for that. Mm. We need to have the right people and the right systems to be able to cope with all that. Um, and that's probably about it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Makes sense. And look, touching on technology a little bit more from that, what role do you think technology can really play in, in solving a lot of these big challenges in Strata? Well, I think. You know, for the most part, we just talked about the difficulty in finding good people, you mm -hmm. know. So uh, the way that we've approached technology and have done for many years is to try and find the best possible way to reduce anything administrative or, you know, to proceduralise something that's really standing in the way of our really competent people delivering great customer service yeah, to their sure. clients. So, you know, we want to be able to do everything as efficiently as we can, but we also want to give the customer a great experience, mm. you know, and that's a big part of being successful. And if we're going to be the biggest strata company or privately owned strata company by 2025, we need to be doing those fundamentals better than anyone. Yeah. Uh, you know, so technology has a huge part to play in that. And I also think people's perception of technology has shifted quite a lot. You know, um, I look at, particularly during the pandemic, and, and I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about that later, but you know, 
I order lunch now and I can see where my driver is, mm. you know. Strata's just starting to catch up to that and that's yeah, where definitely. I think it is so exciting for, you know, owners and tenants and the tradies and, and um, people just generally in the strata industry. So for me, technology is one of, if not the biggest factors in the development of the industry moving forward. Yeah, yeah, and I, I definitely agree. And look, you just mentioned it, you knew my next question already. Um, I'm like a mind reader. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, you know, the, every industry has been impacted by the, the COVID pandemic that we've had recently. Yep. Um, what would you say the impact has been on the strata management industry? Well, look, fortunately, the strata industry is relatively shielded from, uh, or was relatively shielded from the pandemic. I mean, uh, owners corporations still have a responsibility to repair and maintain the common property. Uh, and, you know, as a business owner, we tried to do our very best really just to help owners as best we could, whether it was with financial assistance or payment plans for levies uh, and things of that nature. Um, you know, and off the back of that, fortunately, you know, you read now in the press that the, the country is recovering very well, mm. uh, which is wonderful. But, you know, for the strata sector, the big focus was on just trying to help individuals. You know, people still need to try and pay their levies. And as I said, we still need to repair and maintain the common property. Yeah, so, um, you know, on the people side, everyone went home. Mm. You know, we're fortunate that we have uh, embraced technology for many years and it was relatively easy for us to send everyone home. But, yeah. you know, even with that comes challenges. We had to make sure that everyone had two screens and a comfy chair yeah. and that it was safe at home and all those kinds of things. So, you know, there is just a, there's so many different challenges or opportunities, mm. I, I like to think, that have come out as a result of this. Um, you know, and again, technology just has such a big part in how we managed it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it, it's a really good point, I think, the, the the technological changes that have been brought on by the pandemic. You know, a lot of people have really said some of these kind of changing uh, expectations and the changes of use in technology has kind of made it become almost a force of good and a force of change. Would you say that there's been big changes that have been kind of overdue in the strata management sector? as a part of it? Yeah, absolutely, Sam. I mean, I think that realistically um, it shot the industry forward five years in mm. 12 months, you know, which is just phenomenal. The, the perception of having meetings online or, um, you know, just transacting with the strata company mm. using technology, um, the mindset really for the industry uh, was that was a, a second thought. Yeah, definitely. You know, and now it's front and centre and people are, are more inclined to have uh, an electronic meeting than a face-to-face -face mm. meeting in many circumstances and you know whether that's because people feel safer or it's just easier um, you know for a lot of people going to a strata meeting at six o'clock at night yeah. that means they have to get through traffic and they might have to leave work early they might you know have come from picking their kids up whatever it is so you know technology really has just enabled the industry very very quickly mm. uh, to meet the the changing needs of people in the sector. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a, quite a good change. I know from my days as a strata manager, I never would have expected live uh, online meetings. No, I mean, either. And, uh, Not five years ago, anyway. Yeah, here yeah. we are. It's a, it's a good right. change. And as you said, I think it's a, it's a good improvement to the industry Absolutely. as well. So, flowing on from that, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about how MRI and Strata Masters really helped you manage and, and overcome a lot of the challenges in the strata management industry? Yeah, absolutely, Sam. So, my job as I see it as CEO is very simple, and that's to remove obstacles from mm -hmm. my people. And uh, MRI and Strata Connect have really enabled me to do that. I think, uh, you know, the best that we've been able to do in the history of the business. It, there's so many layers and, and complexities to what we're doing. And, you know, the overlay of the products now is just allowing my team to deliver great customer service. Mm. Uh, you know, and for the clients to feel like that they can keep on top of things and they know what's yeah. happening. So, you know, there is a lot of stuff going on and, and with our relationship with MRI, it has really helped to streamline and just remove obstacles and frustrations for my staff. Yeah, no. yeah, fantastic, fantastic. And look, talking about Strata Connect for a little bit, um, obviously you're an early adopter of, of Strata Connect as we yeah. mentioned. Um, what were the features of Strata Connect that really made it stand out to you guys? Well. The first thing that became really obvious to us was that in some cases about 40% of the strata manager or assistance day was spent on maintenance. Yeah, wow. You know, and that could be doing things like follow up or chasing a quote or responding to a, a committee or, mm. you know, getting a variation and there's really no current piece of technology that enabled us to do all of that in a central location. Uh, a lot of it's done on email, a lot of it's done using the existing maintenance 
work order yep. module in Strata Master. So I had Strata managers with, you know, emails open here and Strata Master open here Ooh. and trying to correspond in all different places. So what we really wanted to do was just to reduce the amount of time that they were spending and mm -hmm. to make it easy for all the stakeholders involved, particularly maintenance, to correspond on, yeah. you know, just getting things done because maintenance is such a huge part of what goes on it in is. the strata sector, but often it's procedural stuff, mm. you know, um, getting a window fixed or whatever it is. So, you know, using Strata Connect now, my managers really need to have one screen up. They've got the messaging in the yep. sidebar, you know, the, the work order or the tickets open there. They're talking to the committee, they're discussing with the trade. You can vote on something and mm. everyone's being notified in real time as this is happening. So, you know, it's just made life so much easier for everyone involved. Uh, and for me, that was probably the biggest standout, you know, and um, I'm obsessed with surveying mm. my team and my clients because I always want to know what's going on, how they're feeling. Um, are they happy with Strata Connect? Are they happy with, you know, just things that are going on in the business? And overwhelmingly people were saying that, or my team was saying that in some cases they were saving up to an hour a day. Yeah, well. You know, and if you've got 100 people spending an hour a day, you can do the maths on that. That's a lot of time. Yeah, definitely. Which kind of ties right back to, you know, the challenge of finding good people and mm. making life easier for people. So, you know, it really has helped to solve a significant problem for us or a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really just one part of the product. There are so many other features that yeah, I'm sure yeah. you guys will talk about. No, fantastic. And look, that leads nicely into our next question, which is really around technological change and growth in the industry. Yeah. Um, you know, off the back, Strata Connect in particular, do you think that something like this could really help the industry grow and evolve into new technological expectations? Well, I think it's doing that now in our business. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen change in real life, you know, and we're hearing the feedback from our trades and from our customers and, you know, they're starting now to just to see the benefits of what technology can bring. Yeah, sure. And as I said earlier, the, the world around us has evolved so much technology technologically and the expectations of people have changed as well so I'm just excited that the Strata sector via Strata Connect and MRI have uh, a product now that meets mm. and I think exceeds the expectations of stakeholders in the sector. Yeah, yeah no, definitely will. All sounds very exciting.